Hi, my name is Ryan Muller. I'm a professional costume designer here in New York City. You can find more information about me on my website, ryanmuller.com. Today we are in my studio and we're going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at costume design for theater, film, and cosplay. Hey guys, I'm Negative Stacy. I'm a professional cosplayer. I've been cosplaying for over a year now. What got me into cosplaying is I'm a big video gamer. My favorite game is League of Legends. So you see a lot of uh, my cosplays are video game based, also some comic book based ones. You can check out my work on Facebook, Negative Stacy, also Instagram, Twitter, and I do have my own YouTube channel as well, and Tumblr. Thanks guys. So to uh, come up with a character, uh, I am given the script and I read in depth and I make my own notes as to who these people are, where they live, uh, what their family relations are, what they do for a living, what their sort of socioeconomic status is, where they fit in the hierarchy, um, and try and come up with a picture of the world in which they live in. Often talking with the uh, set designer or the production assistants and coming up with where exactly all of this takes place. Uh, from there, I look at my own research and what people wore in this period or what I think that this person would wear or what I need to convey psychologically about this person. Um, am I trying to give little hints as to a villainous streak or what's going to happen in the future or something like that. Um, and then I go through and I make some rough sketches and I have a talk with the director and I show them these are the things that I think is really important. I think it's really important that she wear red or that he wear stripes or something like that because this is the feeling that I want to convey for them. Um, from there, it's choosing fabrics and getting the performer in, doing fittings, and coming up with all of the accessories, the right hat, the right gloves, the right shoes, making sure that everything looks and fits right, and that the performer is comfortable and that they can do their job, that they can walk with a trainer, they can walk with seven inch shoes on or something like that. Uh, and then from there we take it out and we put it on stage and see what happens and if the directors, the producers, everyone likes what we've come up with and the performer can do what we need them to do, uh, then I know that it's been a successful costume and the director and the audience hopefully will get out of it what I'm trying to non-verbally communicate to the audience. Awesome. Yeah, uh, as far as my creative thought process, um, Usually I uh, look at a bunch of different versions of a specific character. Um, I decide the character based upon which convention I'm going to, uh, what movies just come out, my favorite video game at the time, um, and then I do research. I look at fan art on the character. Um, you know, I decide, do I want to add, you know, steampunk? Do I want, um, I just like to add my own flair. It just really depends on whatever I'm into at the time, but I do use, you know, a million different pictures and versions of the character as possible and just kind of do my own take on it. Um, I just look how they made it and I, you know it's the same thing I gotta think how to bring that to life. Um, you know I'm so limited in my resources and my talents so you know some things I buy, some things I make um, and just a combination. Um. Where do you find your materials usually? Do you go to the fabric store or do you find more in the craft world, um, like Michael's or something like that? Where do you normally find? Um, it's a big combination of both. Um, every time I do a costume, I, I definitely go to both Michael's and the, the Fashion District. Uh, also, um, you know, stuff from Amazon. Um, there's cheap little jewelry shops. Um, so yeah, just all of the resources possible. Goodwill. Whatever um, you can find that'll work. Exactly, exactly.